Spirit are better. You can't yeah. say that they're worse. There's no way. Not a bull. Oh, Zaracha might be oh, getting turned. Oh, Blast off is there. The boar looked too tasty. He's a big fan of pork as Zaraccio will be getting chased down and collapsed looking for the last right click. It's going to go to Mira instead. First blood. I can't blame him. Every time I wake up in the morning, bacon's the first thing on my mind. Oh, Quinn? As Quinn getting blood grenaded he's now. Dead. Shield crash in five seconds, so he's donezo. Uh -oh. Two kills right off the bat for Team Spirit. Mira could still be in trouble. Yep, and Tail is there. Malefice, and this time they will find him. Yep. Down bottom, collapse, forcing the Rachi away. Even Yatoro's here. Oh, my. Of course, when you lose, oh, he, he got the spit off with the bacon. The uh, bacon spit. He gets the. Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> All right, they actually chopped down the tree. <laughs> what was that? Looks so weird. Oh. Nice axes onto two. Swashbuckle from Quinn. Has the rolling thunder as well. Oh. He's going to get roared in the meantime. Collapse, trying to find a way to looks get done. out. But looks like he's going to have to exit through his own grave. I'd say a rare sight from Spirit. They're not a team to overplay very often, but they are doing something up top too. Looking at this case, I don't know if he's, he got his old off, but he still died. Good deny from Tofu. Might cost him his life. Yep, Ace. He's gonna get spotted. Think swell. Maybe. Yep. There's the silence. Does get off his ult though. Well that done. should help him survive. TP support from Celery. Oh. Now this is gonna cancel his ult for the time being. Finally, Wukong's command goes off. They still might find this lone druid in the end, but no. Quinn coming in with a nice swash with the ult as well. Looks like Yatoro might be the one that gets sacrificed in the end. Quinn finishes him off with the roll. Great rotation again from Quinn and the rest of yep. Gaming Gladiators. Doraccio, he, he, wants, he wants more. He smells blood. Laurel teeping in. Oh, who wants who? Yeah, there's the Dragon Tail. Has the damage run, I believe, on him right now. The Sticky Bomb is there as well. Doraccio. A little bit too greedy. I mean, this is kind of Duraccio special. <laughs> kind of bites off too much to chew. Early stages of game number one of his yep. best of three in the upper bracket. There's a lot of fighting going on. Back and forth. Yeah, Duraccio's here. Okay. Nice on for the low. Yeah. God corrected there. Soulbind onto two. Last off from Mira doing quite a bit of CC. And Holy. then the black hole will end Mira. You can see several members of Gaming Gladiators relatively low, trying to use the Wukong's command to their cover. Laurel going to try to fly away, but the Finger of Death with Swash combo brings him down. Yep. I feel like there's no in-between. Good call. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they're oh, yeah. out in the trees, so another death for him, it looks like. Yep. Oh, finger him. And the finger just to get that extra stack for Mr. Tofu. You have two Defusal Blades, you have Lion Hex, Earth Spike, and Midnight Pulse is very good in this game as Oh, Yatoro. they find a monkey, Yatoro. He's going to be greeted by some TPs as well. Oh, and he is mega dead. I think game in one, it's easier for them. Ooh, hold on. Someone is feeding. Oh, and fail. The fine collapse of the time being. Ace actually does get off his ult in time. Midnight Pulse was there. Not really going to be on anything as the Black Bull comes through. The Wukong has come in on the other side, though. And Laurel ends up taking out. The lone druid to start things out. It's a one-for-one one support for core, and that means Gaiman now on the run. Yataro trained of all his mana, so can't actually balance strike anymore. It matters not, though, as Tofu is easily brought down. And yeah, this is a good old-fashioned Rosh off. Typically, this doesn't really happen for Rosh number one, but... Mira is found on the trees. Balance strike onto the bear. He's going to be slow to a crawl, thanks to the sticky bomb. The oh. jump in from... Laurel gets the Dragon Tail. There's the blast off onto two. Soulbind as well, but BKB is popped from Gracio. Takes out one Double quickly. Orbs. That is just the techies. It's a black nice hole black onto two. And Quinn rolling out deep with the Aghanim Scepter. Shield Crash doing so much damage. They get three, make it four. Ace with the triple kill. Only member left is Yatoro. And there's no way he can contest this Roche now. Ace has to be a bit careful with this. As Laurel's going to get the Dragon Tail off. Ace well is there to help dispel some aspects and potentially heal him, but they're going to be able to get this range rack as the fortification is popped again. I wonder if Gaiman want to continue. No god strength. Looks like Looks it. Like Spirit really want to fight. Finally get the Soulbind onto two with a blast off from Mira. Still not a whole lot of damage done as the roll up from Kin Kinem at a pretty good timing. They're going to be able to get the racks and now the fear upon the techies. That is a dead Mira. So a full lane of racks for Gaiman. They have a good ward, which did just block Yatoro. 
Yeah, balance strike onto Quinn. Able to shield crash into the rolling thunder now. Wants to go for Yatoro. Stun is there to start. Rolls up Roll to go up. the other direction. Soulbind only onto Quinn right now. He's going to keep his distance from the rest of his team. As I say that, oh, they're looking. the Enigma, but Mira, he's the one initiated on by Duraccio. Superman coming to play. Kaposhka looks to be both. next. BKB is oh, there. Black hole onto two, and Laurel completely drained of his mana. Collapse will TP out and abandon his mid laner. Everybody has their buyback from Team Spirit. Yep. They can't go for the Megas because the tier two is still in the bot lane. They could theoretically go for Throne, but probably a little bit too risky. Oh, they just straight up put the banner here. Let's go. Okay. God strength from Duraccio. Flies in trying to kill the Centaur. Stun comes out. Yotaro finally making a fight with the Wukong command. They get the roar off on That's defense. One. That is the Aegis down. Decent start for Team Spirit. They have another stun on top of Duraccio. He's going to pop the BKB, and now without that God strength, doesn't really pack that much of a punch. See if Gamer want to continue here. The bear, of course, doing the most damage to the towers right now. Going on the sidelines, going to get Dragon Tail. Ink Swell is coming. Collapse prematurely pops the BKB and now just tries to run away. Celery jumping in with the black hole. It's going to be canceled pretty prematurely. Only gets onto one hero. Mira will be the first to pop the team here. Does have his buyback available. We'll probably have to expend it here because this will be mega creeps if they let this go. Yatoro. Trying to dodge out the stun, but it's not going to happen. Aether's just getting That is going to be mega creeps for a game in Gladius without really much fight from Team Spirit. This will likely turn into a GG here very shortly. Larlin quite deep. Guitar jumping in with that BKB. This is when he popped the BKB and then <laughs> calls GG. Very nicely done. So game in Gladiators, they show up in game number one, and they, uh, they dominated. Game and Gladiators won game one, and they've been dominated by Team Spirit in the last year. Dominated to the point where they can't win a game, it seems, against their hmm. arch nemesis. He's getting quite low. Looks like he's Mira. fine. No? Is he, though? One more right click will do it. Potentially. Uh, collapse. collapse. Oh, Are you fast enough? Now it's going to take two hits. Wasting a lot of time. Eats a tree in the meantime. Oh. Maybe he's going to try to deny himself Can an do it? Ancient. No. Looking for... Okay. Ether shot. Potential deny, no. Collapse does end up getting first blood. That's no, exactly. I think so. He has seven denies, and we'll see later. But I do all that matters is like start getting level three. Well, now Mira dies. Yeah, okay. not worth it. Guess that chase really wasn't worth it. No. Nope. Out into Tiring. the dark pack. He died. Mira gets off the shackle, but does not save Collapse in the end. And this lane being dominated now by Gaiman. We'll see how good his sonic waves are against that Rolling Thunder. Collapse. Like he said, only level four. Using that X. Oh, actually does find a connection onto Duraccio. And Laurel comes in with that pathetic level one screen, <laughs> but it's enough. It's always a nice timing to that down middle. Laurel? Oh, Laurel. Oh, but the Hex oh. is there. Laurel, all he can do is run. No mana to speak oh. of, which means a swash is, is enough. He tried it. Could have tried to maybe deny himself first, but didn't happen either way. Quinn, be spotted by Maposhka. Yeah, sticks. Well, I guess so does Maposhka. Yeah. He's got some company with Tofu helping him out. Should be fine. Doesn't have any slow, though. Okay, eight minute rune. Celery is here. Here with the Hex initiation. Rune will be bottom. There's the Shackle into the Sonic Wave. The Cold Embrace is not going to be enough to save Celery. You can see the Arctic Burn and the Eidolons going to work on the Mira. Swash finishes them off. So it's a one for one for supports. And yeah, there is an Invis rune in the bot portion of the river. There's Laurel. Trying to go for this Winter Wyvern, but the Shield Crash from Quinn is there. Shadow Strike's coming. This Tofu is dead. No deny to come. And now Quinn getting Frostbit. And the X from Collapse not quite in range. Going to go for the Torrent. Does not hit either. Quinn dodging multiple spells. The initial trade was not that great. The Rachio, very deep. The Toro yeah. is here. X is there. He doesn't even have mana for his ult. That is true. At half HP already. He's gonna get sheep and brought down. So another overly aggressive play from Duraccio. This is a little bit of a mid diff, I would say, at least for now. And Quinn this is the rolling thunder to ensure that Mira dies. Find collapse doesn't look like it. Needs some good execution. Yeah. 
get to that in just a moment. The shield rune is snagged by Laurel, which means Quinn now on the run. Again, no rolling thunder yet, because he just used it. Laurel doesn't have enough damage to really follow it up, though. You get the shackle into the boat, so at the very least, they'll find Tofu. Laurel, well, rolling thunder's a little bit too late. He picks up the regeneration rune. Quinn, though. Will hit the CM one time and then try to roll away. He's collapse. They have the vision on the high ground. X onto Celery with the boat connecting. It's just on this Enigma though. Hold and brace to keep him healthy as well. Let's watch from Quinn. Still He's gonna no get curse. shackled. Laurel is there and he has his ultimate Sonic Wave onto two. Uh -oh. It's the death of Celery nice now in Chronosphere from Yatoro. Focusing on Quinn. That is gonna be an easy cleanup for him. And now Ace. He's skewering to the low ground, but brings an enemy with him as Tofu's going to be cleaned up as well. So three dead just Ooh, like that. Gonna be four. Might even be a fourth as Ace in a lot of trouble. Triple kill for Laurel, so didn't do too well in lane. Well, there's Doesn't your matter. comeback mechanic. It's just not easy for them to catch him. I think they need to... Oh, he used oh, Manus. on the hunt. Yeah, yeah they got him. Manus is used. Yotaro in a lot of trouble. Great pickoff for Gaiman. He is bottom of the net worth for yep. the cores right now. Oh, nice. Collapse is Zoraccio. spotted out. Zoraccio is the blade now. And the Sonic Wave to follow. Is that enough? Not quite. Zoraccio stays alive and the fight continues. Curse is used as a nice rolling thunder from Quinn. Trying to finish off Laurel. They'll do so quite easily. And Collapse is completely drained of his mana and he's going to be brought down as well. Three kills for Gaiman on the spirit side of the map. All they'll find is an Enigma. Celery working on his Greaves now. There's the X. Let's see. Highly doubtful there is a defense here. Although I say that, TP's coming. Celery pops the mech. No, they cancel the TP. Goes for the Hyperstone to finish off this Mjolnir. Quite. Oh, skew into the RP. Sonic Wave, though, to disrupt this a bit. But here comes Quinn That's with the Rolling son. Thunder. Yeah, that is a perfect spot. Just enough damage with Duraccio coming in as well. The boat a little bit too late, so collapse is the kill. Duraccio, they wait for the Dark uh -oh. Pack to end, but the instant ult, and now Mira in a world of hurt. Quick fingers from Duraccio forces two back, but That's there's the kills. Harpoon initiation from Ace. Another support hits the deck. I mean, Yatoro's got a shit ton of damage, but he needs to be able Salary. to hit. Salary. He gets initiated on. Looks like he'll be the sacrifice as Tofu TPing out. Oh, the X and the Torrent actually there to cancel the TP. So a little bit of revenge here for Team Spirit. They find the two supports of Gaiman. Ooh. Attempted Harpoon from Ace. Now he's going to have to skewer away, knowing that reinforcements are arriving. A little too quick. Duraccio does not care. Wants to get that. Oh, my God. All right, absolutely deletes Mira, but yeah. the X into the boat coming. Not a whole lot of mana for Collapse, though. They need to run. There's Laurel uh, RP'd into the arms of Duraccio. Sonic Wave comes out, though, but the Chronosphere right on top of him. Yatoro can't hit Ooh. him because of the ult. The Shadow Dance is doing work here, and now the Black Hole onto Yatoro, and they killed the Quap as well. Disaster strikes for Team Spirit. Maposhka looks to be next on the list. It'll eventually come surely as they find Collapse, which is a much more important kill. And God, there's the pounce one. from the trees, canceling the TP. Wants that Essence Shift stack, and he'll get it. Full team wipe for Gaiman, and they lose zero. Well, now, if, uh, Gaiman are still around. They're, like, they're still protecting this ward. Ace, oh, he was trying for something cheeky, but now he gets punished. But the counter initiation from Tofu will keep Ace alive. But the X brings him back into the fray, bouncing him left, right, and center like a... Well, I said ping pong ball already in this tournament. <laughs> like a what? Either way, he dies. <laughs> but Mira, obviously, keep it out of top. Was quick with the Hex. Oh, oh Chrono, but it's in a defensive measure. Now Yatoro getting chased. Tofu giving vision, Quinn with the rolling thunder will find the connection. And another connection. And that should be the death. And the black hole. <laughs> yeah, not sure that was needed, but either way, Yatoro dies, which is huge for Gaiman. X, Duraccio will just BKB it off. And maybe even go back in, knowing him. <laughs> Uh, we'll he, he can kind of toy with them as long as he doesn't get X now. And his team is coming, so he could even look to like start going in soon. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mira will be the recipient so of another Duraccio well played. initiation. Tidal Wave not going to be there, they but there's the it. counter curse again. The boat combo is not going to do much. And now Quinn jumping in with a huge shield crash. That Aghanim Scepter now collapsed with that Blade Mail activated. Gets off the Torrent Storm, but it feels inevitable that they'll find him. As another death for Team Spirit as Gaiman are crushing their foes. Feels like they will get the melee racks at the very least. Probably both. So full lane at 30 minutes for Gaming Gladiator. Water can Park Team either. Spirit do? Nothing. They can watch them. They are doing just that. Oh, the pounce. <laughs> <laughs> Duraccio can do some things, though, that's for sure. All right, so two lanes of racks for Gaming Gladiators, and they lose nothing here. They need yeah. a very crisp fight, but Duraccio is on the mission of yeah, breaking. Duraccio. Gets off the Dark Pact. Initiation now onto Kunkka. Well, actually, Shadow Dance already. Oh, there's the Harpoon. Ooh, Skewer next. into a pounce. Laurel is the recipient. Gets what? off the Sonic the Wave, damage. but he dies shortly after. Now the BKB popped by Duraccio. Focusing on Kunkka now. Collapse. Gets off a nice Torrent Storm as Ace finds his way out of the Serpent Wards. Tidal Wave comes out as well, but the Shield Crash from Quinn keeping heroes busy. Already two cores dead for Spirit, though, which means they are going to have to back away. Not That's one support dead. down now as this fight has separated quite a bit. And without really too much effort, yeah. four kills for Gaiman. Yeah. Hello, Duraccio. Yeah, there's the X to start things out. Orchid onto your Toro. Well, they actually might have found the connection, but Cold Drop. Embrace now. A lot of this damage is mitigated, but there's a crawl. But an cursed. instant curse on top of the void. It's going to mitigate all of this, and Celery gets a nice black hole. Yatoro will be the first to fall there, along with Laurel. Ultra kill for Ace, and that'll be 